Hello everyone, uh, this morning we're in uh, sort of the West Tacone area, kind of in the middle of nowhere and we're going to be hiking to McGowan's Falls. Now we actually walked the last two kilometres because the road's a bit dodgy for our car, although it wasn't actually that bad. Some markers at the start of the walk, it's pretty easy to find the spot. It's a nice little pull out, a rock can, then you go this way for a short distance and then you head into the forest. I've just got a find the right spot to. There should be markers. There we are. Don't know where this four-wheel drive track heads. Whoops. Here we are. So it's really quite hard to miss. So I think it's about a, uh, a 10 minute walk to the top of the falls and then probably 10 minutes further down to the base. And it's meant to be a really steep, difficult walk down. We'll see what it's like. I don't reckon it'll be all that bad, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Pretty actually, a well marked track actually for an unofficial one. And I'll see you when I get closer to the falls. This track is actually much better than I expected to the point where the tapes are almost redundant. This is probably the first actual obstacle I've really got to, besides the few sort of trees you have to duck under. Almost wish they'd put a few less tapes around here, it gets a bit old seeing huge police tape uh, things everywhere. Righto, so I've reached the top of McGowan's Falls. The trail to the base heads down there. As you can see, it looks very steep. And then you can head right to the top of the falls just through here. Looks like a pretty decent sized drop. Yeah, he did a long way down there. There's a little plaque here as well for the bloke the waterfall was named after, Douglas McGowan. Someone set up a pretty cute little uh, viewing area here. I've uh, received a request in the waterfall, the Tassie group, to show the descent down and um, I remember hearing about a spot where you have to sort of clamb down roots and I would imagine this is it. So this is probably the worst bit of the descent. Bit of an awkward scramble but nothing all that bad really. Yeah it was a bit of a steep scramble to get down although that rooty part was definitely the worst of it. But anyway I'm here at the base of McGowan's Falls so it is a seriously impressive waterfall. Probably 30 metres high at least. Good flow of water, although I think it's a little on the low side today. You can only imagine what it would be like in full flow. And a really unusually shaped one too actually. Quite different to any other falls I've seen I reckon. Didn't take long to get down, only five minutes or so. Well I'm back at the top of McGowan's Falls and I thought I may as well wrap up the video now. 
It was a really nice short walk to one of the many very impressive waterfalls in the northwest and one of the more unusual waterfalls anywhere in Tasmania. Uh, it took me 10 minutes at the top and then further five minutes to get down, although I'm a pretty fast tiger, so you'd probably want to give yourself an hour return to not feel too rushed. The actual length of the hike in terms of distance is only a tick over a kilometre return though, so it's a pretty short hike. The route to the bottom of the falls in the end actually wasn't that difficult. It was steep, but if you're a reasonable fitness, you should manage that fine. Just that one real kind of steep rooty section is a bit iffy, but I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Just take your time, be careful, and you'll be fine. Anyway, that's it from me, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.